Hi, I'm Monica Richards for Seams. This week, I had the opportunity to sit down with Mark Burnett and Roma Downey, the producers of Ben-Hur. Take a look. Was the theme of forget forgiveness something that drew you to be a part of all of this? Mm -hmm. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. You know, we're committed at Lightworkers Media to tell stories that illuminate the darkness. And Ben-Hur oh. is one of these stories. What do you hope that this movie, in the midst of all this chaos we're in, will leave behind? Well, if you think back to when the book was written, mm -hmm. it was in 1880, 15 mm -hmm. years after the American Civil War, where the country was torn apart. Here we have a movie coming out in 2016, the same story, right. and actually, the country's kind of on the verge of being torn apart. Mm -hmm. I mean, it right. really is. What's your goal in making it more mainstream and maybe getting it into hands of people that may or may not be religious? Well, I think that the movie has been made for everyone. You it's know, very it has, relatable. It has all the ingredients of a big blockbuster film. It holds danger, mm -hmm. romance, battles, mm -hmm. sword fights, chariot races, the, the, the naval ship sequence, you know, fine looking actors. Yeah. It's just on Jesus. and on and on. And Jesus. <laughs> He's always so attractive in your, uh, in your <laughs> project. Rodrigo Santoro, the Brazilian yes. superstar, playing Jesus this time yes. around. But Jack Houston, Morgan mm -hmm. Freeman, Toby Keppel. I think it was important that it feel like a relatable story. Mm -hmm. It's entertainment, you know, nobody's coming to the movies for a message. Right. People come to the movies, they want to be entertained, they want a great story well told. Exactly. Ben Hur is that. And and yet, it has subtly woven throughout it this deeper meaning. I love that. In this next interview, I asked Pilu a little something about his wardrobe. In the film, he plays Pontius Pilate. Once you see it, you'll understand what I'm talking about. But he wears the fanciest of furs. Take a look. How did you feel when you first slipped into that fur? <laughs> <laughs> it's such a good piece. I, uh, <laughs> I felt very masculine. Yeah. I felt very powerful. Uh, and then they put me on a horse and I felt like Punch's pilot. Okay, getting more on a serious note. Yeah. The younger generation that's probably seeing this movie probably isn't as familiar with the story even though it's so epic. So what would you hope that this story would leave behind for the younger generation? I think a younger generation has been raised post 9-11. Mm -hmm. This story is about forgiveness. Mm -hmm. And therefore I think it's a very important film for the younger generation because right now, Right now, we should start by forgiving each other instead of hating each other.